Every year about this time, we like to look forward to the spring and catch up on our correspondence. I have a letter here from a Mr. and Mrs. Howard of Surbiton asking me, how do we get rid of this noxious and vicious weed that keeps sprouting up in our garden every summer? So I've come here to the Howard's Jimmy's. house oh to offer God. some advice on how to spot it and weed it out. This is the culprit, Cannabis sativar, member of the family Cannabidacae. And you notice there the buds dripping this horrible, sticky resin. Pretty enough, you might think, but you definitely don't want him in your garden. Now, Mrs. Howard says, ever since our son came home from college to live with us, we've had this problem. We keep being raided by the police. How can we root out these summer invaders? Well, Mrs. Howard, you have my sympathy. It's an ever more common problem in this country. Here's what you need to do. Cannabis sativar is a herb. It flowers in the late summer. And the flowers produce oh, oh, these tiny down. brown seeds. There they are. It's a wily plant, this. It grows easily, hidden amongst Tagetus erecta, the marigold, Pissum sativum, the pea vine, tomato plants, and even brambles, if you're an untidy gardener. And unfortunately, cannabis sativar thrives in open areas like this with plenty of direct sunlight in a humus-rich soil. Somewhere like this is just the sort of place it likes to invade. So if you get an infestation, what do you do? Well. Take away the things it loves. And one of the things it needs a lot of is water. So don't water the area. It's also greedy for calcium, nitrogen, potash and phosphorus. So keep the John Innes number three well away from the infected area. Something to remember, cannabis sativa is dioecious. That is to say, it grows a separate male and female plant. And it's the female plant that you really want to get rid of. The male plant is totally harmless. It's the female with the sticky, toxic resin, buds and leaves. One other thing you could try is to encourage the animals that attack it. Now, it's vulnerable to spider mite and aphids, so if you have a particularly bad attack, you could always do without the pesticide for a season and try to kill it that way. Now, if I hear of an idea and I think it's a good one, I'm certainly not too proud to use it. So you could try the eradication technique taught me by Mr and Mrs Howard's son. We've got a pile of the weed here, which Mr and Mrs Howard found in their loft. And their son Richard said he was planning to burn it. And I think that's a great idea. So, here goes. Well, that's all we've got time for this week. Next week, we look at some wild poppies that have been turning up in Dorset. Bye. Six months.